All right, hi everybody. Sorry again, I can't be there today, but uh, I'm gonna do a video go, kind of going over, re recapping sections five, six, and five, seven. Um, so here's here's what we're gonna do today. Um, I've got a warm up for us, okay? Just like we always do in class, I've got a warm up for us. You're gonna get out some paper and do that with me. Um, and then I am going to kind of go through each type of question that we could have um, with regard to sections five, six, and five, seven. Okay. Now, this is just a fair warning. I am going to be putting some of these questions on Edpuzzle. Okay. So we're going to review here. I'm going to be putting some of these questions on Edpuzzle. And now, I, Edpuzzle, I am going to be taking the Edpuzzle as a grade. Okay. That's going to be graded. It's just going to be a formative grade, but it's going to be graded. So, do your best on this. Don't rush through this. Don't just skip through it. Okay. Do your best. One, I actually want to see how you're doing with this stuff. All right. So here's our warm up. Again, you should be pausing the video right now. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and, um, and then, uh, and then play. Okay. All right. So let me start here with number 43. I want to, I want to graph the line with a slope of one half and the coordinate of four comma negative three. So I start here with four comma negative three and I plot my point. Remember you start with a point first, then I use that slope of positive one half. Slope is positive one half. That means I go rise one, right two, rise one, right two, and just make sure that you're going with a positive sloping line. I could also be going, look at what I'm doing here. I'm going down one left two, down one left two, because that's also a positive sloping line. Negative, negative turns out to be a positive. Ooh, yikes. Remember this on my last video. Going to have to do the line tool. Oh, well. There we go. There's my line. Okay. So hopefully graphing is, is getting better for us. Let's do uh, number 45 and 47. Okay. Uh, number 45 here, write the equation of line in point slope form. Okay, remember point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Okay, well if x and y are the point, here's x, x1 and y1, right? And this is our m. So that means I can take y minus the y value, 3, is equal to m, which is 2, times x minus the x1 value, which in this case is 1. And that's all I have to do. A lot of people keep thinking, oh, I must be able to do more. No, 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 no. If it's in point slope form, I want you to leave it like that. Don't, don't solve for y or anything. Okay, write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line through these two points. So now I'm going slope-intercept form. I'm going y equals mx plus b form. All right, that must mean you know, I need to find my slope and my intercept. Now, we learned yesterday the point slope form, the point slope method, and then the solve for b method. I'm going to show you both right now. And at this point, I'm going to let you choose. Now, fair warning, I think a lot of you are going to choose the solve for b method. I'm not real sure. Usually I take a poll and just kind of see how many of you guys like point slope, how many of you guys like slope intercept or, or so, solve for b. Um, but I'm going to guess a lot of you like solve for b. But at either way, I have to solve for my m first, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That means I have 8 minus 4 divided by 3 minus 1, right? 8 minus 4 divided by 3 minus 1, y minus y over x minus x. So 4 over 2 gets us a 2. Okay, so now let's do the solve for b. Okay, in the solve for b method, I take y equals mx plus b, and I choose one of the points, let's say 1 comma 4, and the newfound slope as 2, and plug in what I know. The y is 4, the m is 2, the x is 1, and I don't know b. Okay, I can solve for b just by subtracting the 2 over to the left side, so 2 is my b value. That means that this turns into, since b is 2, and m is 2, y equals 2x plus 2. And that's my answer. Again, don't lose sight of the end goal. The end goal is to try to find the equation with m and b plugged in. Now, the other method is the point-slope method. OK, 
to the point slope method makes you put it into y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And then you just solve. That's an x. And then you just solve for y. Okay, so let's pick again this point 0.1 comma 4. We have the m is 2 and point 0.1 comma 4. And now all you do is you just plug in. You plug in uh, y minus 4 is equal to m x minus 1. And now we just solve for y. Let's distribute that 2 in, 2x minus 2. And then we add 4 to both sides. So y is equal to 2x plus 2. And there's my answer. Okay. All right. So hopefully that cleared things up. Again, now everybody should be getting out a, a separate sheet of paper. Um, this is treat this as I'm going to I'm going to be grading your answers to this. So make sure that you treat this with care. Don't just rush through this. Okay, folks. All right. Uh, first thing I want you to do is uh, graph this with the slope as negative two and the y intercept is negative three. So take a moment, pause right now and graph. Okay, so uh, the y intercept is negative three. And then the slope is negative two. I go down to right one, or I could go up to left one, up to left one, up to left one. How am I doing? Okay, I didn't do too bad with my line there. How about that? Okay. All right. Second one here. Write the equation in slope intercept form, then graph the line described by the equation. So um, before you pause, Remember that to put it into slope intercept form, I need to solve for y. So do whatever you need to do to solve for y. I'll give you a minute. Go ahead and pause. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is subtract 6x from both sides. So that gives me a 2y is equal to negative 6x plus 10. And now at this point, now I can divide over the 2. A lot of people might try to tell me to divide by the 2 early. Don't do that. You have to wait till last. And everybody gets divided by 2. Right? Negative 3x plus 5. There's my answer. Right? There's in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b form. So that means my m is negative 3 and my b is 5. Here's my y-intercept. Down 3, right 1. Down 3, right 1 or up three left one. And now I will get my line tool because I'm a chicken. There we go. Okay, hopefully hopefully we did good on that one. Okay, let's solve this one for y. Again, go ahead and pause. Okay, so now this one's kind of a tricky one. I'm gonna subtract x from both sides. I'm gonna get negative y is equal to negative x plus 6. And then I divide by negative 1. That's the tricky piece here. Write everything by negative 1. And in essence, all it does is just make everything negative on the other side. The negative turns positive, And the 6 becomes a neg minus 6. So that means my slope is a positive 1. My b value is a negative 6. OK, so my y-intercept is a negative 6. And my slope is a positive 1, up 1 over 1. I'll make my line here. There we go. Okay, there's my line. Okay, again, hopefully we did all right with those. Let's jump to the next slide here. Okay, pause and try this one. A care, uh, caterer charges $200 fee plus $18 per person served. The cost as a function of the of number of guests is shown in the graph below. Write an equation that represents the cost as a function of the number of guests. So go ahead and take a minute and write your equation. Okay, so hopefully we got for our equation, y is equal to $200 plus 18x. You know, that's not technically in slope intercept form, so maybe we better write it around here, 18x plus 200. All right. Identify the slope and the y-intercept. So the slope is 18 and the y-intercept is 200. Now, what do they mean? Remember, the slope is always the rate of change. So in this case, my rate is the hourly charge. Slope is the hourly charge. 
and the 200 is the initial charge, the starting value, starting value. Okay, all right. Find the cost of the catering event for 200 guests. So all I have to do now is plug that in. Y is equal to 18X plus 200. So it's 18, Y is equal to 18 times 200 plus 200. So go to my calculator here, 18 times 200 plus 200 more dollars. $3,800 all in total. Okay. All right. Okay. So keep it going. A couple more slides to do. Graph the line with the given slope that contains the given point and write the equation of the line in slope intercept form. All right. So let's first start off here. I want to do two things with these problems. The first thing that I want to do is graph. And then the second thing I want to do is write the equation. Okay, I want to graph and write the equation. Hopefully graphing should be easy now. Three comma one, slope of two, rise two, run one, down two, left one. Hopefully we're getting the hang of writing or graphing lines. And now we write the equation. Now. At this point, this is where we get to choose, do we want to do the solve for B or do we want to use the point slope? I'll show the solve for B method. Y is equal to MX plus B. So we know the slope is two and we have the point three comma one. So I put one in for Y, two in for M, three in for X and solve for B. So this is one is equal to six plus B. For some reason, I always end up being sixes and Bs. Subtract 6 from both sides, I get a negative 5 as my B value. Now that means M is 2, B is negative 5, so Y is equal to 2X minus 5, and that's my answer here. Okay. All right. Why don't you guys try to pause on the next one? Let's show it here. Pause, and why don't you graph? Well, Why don't you graph and write the equation? Okay. So the first thing, graph three comma negative six with a slope of negative one third, down one right three, down one right three, up one left three, up one left three. And I'll make my line. There we go. And now I make my equation. Again, I'm going to show the solve for B method. I've got uh, the slope is negative one third through point three comma negative six. Okay, so now we plug it in, y equals mx plus b, where the y is negative six, the m is negative one third, the x is three, and I add b. So negative six is equal to negative one third times three is uh, negative one. I add the one over to the other side, I get negative five is equal to my B value. That means Y is equal to negative one third X minus five. Okay. There's my answer. Okay. Write an equation in slope intercept form for the line through those two points. Okay, so again, pause here, try to figure this one out again. If you need some help, all you do is find the slope using the slope formula and then pick one of the two points and do your solve for B method or your point slope method. All right, so let's let's find our slope. The slope is uh, Y minus Y over X minus X. So negative six over three, which ends up being negative two. And let's use this point two comma one. So now I say y equals mx plus b. So that means y is 1, m is negative 2, x is 2, plus b. 1 is equal to negative 4 plus b. So I add the 4 over to the other side. So that means I've got a 5 is equal to my b value. Okay. 
that well, I should box that answer because that's really not my final. Remember, the m is negative 2, and the b value is 5. So that means it's y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. All right. One more problem here. You can go ahead and pause and then play whenever you're ready. Okay. So again, I have to find my slope first. My slope is 2 minus 4 over negative 7 minus 0. So negative 2 over negative 7, which is a positive 2 sevenths. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh, man, that's, that's going to be a weird slope to work with. Ah, uh, what is that coordinate? That's the y-intercept. So really, all I need to say, well, that's my m. My b is 4. So y is equal to 2 sevenths x plus 4. That's my answer. Always look to see if I ever give you a, um, a point that it is also my y-intercept. Okay. All right. So um, I just wanted to remind you, if you hadn't done so already, please submit your homework assignment. I didn't want to do the video going over that just so you could have some time to work on your homework in class today. If you have any questions, just save them and we can go over them. Hopefully the warm up and doing this kind of cleared some of those questions up. Also, if you have the extra credit, Okay, if you have the extra credit, please um, staple, or not staple, but, but um, bring your um, answers up to the bot, up to the bin and um, put them in there. Remember, um, only turn it in if you've got them all done. I don't want partial credit. I don't want partial done, um, uh, partial work. Okay, I want it fully, completely done. Um, again, that's going to go in the box uh, or in the bin, whatever, uh, on my desk. Okay, put it in the black bin on my desk. Um, I will, I will get those. I'll pick that up. Okay. Um, so again, extra credit going in the bin. Um, if you haven't submitted your homework, make sure you do that. And now with the remaining time, you can get the, the five, six, five, seven worksheet. Okay. The five, six, five second, five second, excuse me, five, six, five, seven worksheet and use the remaining time to work on that. That's your homework for tonight. Okay. Uh, hope we all have a good day. Hope to see you soon.